Hello and welcome to another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes and this is the show where we talk with faculty, staff, students, coaches, and guests about some of the things that are going on in the world or some of the great things that are going on at the Delaware State University. Today I have DSU's head baseball coach, J.P. Blandon, uh, on our show today. Uh, coach, I've always wondered, what does JP stand for? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for inviting okay. me on the show, Carlos. Appreciate it. Um, I see Carlos a lot running around on campus, but I don't think I've, we've ever had the opportunity to sit down and talk for a while. Uh -huh. So this is very cool, and I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, JP stands for Jean Paul. Uh, my father is French. Ah, and, uh, I, I took see. on his name. I'm Junior, and. Uh, the irony to that is I don't think he's ever played baseball before in his ah, life. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, the name JP is uh, Little JP. He was Big JP, and it just sort of stuck over the years. Well, the former Little JP, who is now a Big JP, has obviously accomplished a lot in his baseball career because it was just announced that you have, are going to be inducted in the Delaware Baseball High School Hall of Fame. And that is, uh, congratulations, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. Were you surprised by that? Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, I was, it was a, came as a total surprise. Actually, it was a really great night when I got the news. Uh, we opened up our season down in, uh, at Charleston Southern with mm -hmm. a win. And then that night I got a call from my old high school baseball coach, Bob Colburn, who has just done so much for baseball in the state of Delaware, mm -hmm. and to let me know that I was inducted well, um, let's, let's backtrack a minute now. You grew up here, right? That's right. That's and right. so you went, when you played, did you play high school ball? I played high school ball at St. Andrews in Middletown, Delaware. You played Little League around there, too? Played Little League at MOT okay. in Middletown. And uh, great experiences there. Uh -huh. Very cool town. Uh, and in the center of town was the Little League field. And uh, our Friday and Saturday nights were, were full of baseball mm -hmm. and uh, brought the community together. And it was very great experience very cool. and sort of made me make me want to uh, continue my baseball mm -hmm. career into high school and and then into college from there. Now did you you played baseball in college did you leave Delaware or did you stay here in Delaware? I actually stayed in Delaware I started off at the University of Delaware mm -hmm. um, uh, matriculating as a student athlete there my very first semester um, and I didn't end up staying at University of Delaware. I ended up transferring to Wilmington College. Uh, now where, Wilmington University. Now Wilmington University, yeah. where the head coach there was Jim Sherman, who is now the head coach at University of Delaware. Okay. So uh, he recruited me and, and said, why don't you come on over here? I think this might be a better fit for you. And, uh, it, and it was. And, and I was able to be a part of some really good baseball. There are two teams that went to the College World Series. Um, I was a relief pitcher. I didn't get a whole lot of innings um, as a player, but I really appreciated the opportunity to sit down and, and um, next, to, next to Coach Sherman and listen to him teach the game of baseball and it sort of really made me uh, passionate about the game. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems that been from reading your bio after a couple of assistant coach uh, uh, stints elsewhere, sure. You ended up here at Delaware State University, and you came here in 2000? I came here in the 1999-2000 year as the assistant baseball coach under Trip Keister. Oh, okay. Who is actually now also in the Hall of Fame. Right, right. So, uh, ironically, Coach Sherman, uh, Coach Keister, who brought me here to Delaware State, mm -hmm. and uh, Bob Colburn, my high school coach, all three of them had previously been inducted to the Hall of Fame, so three mentors. But, but yeah, he brought me in as an assistant coach. He needed somebody to help out with the pitchers. He was more of a position player guy, a guy mm -hmm. good with hitting and uh, outfield play. And so we complimented each other well. And um, he got an opportunity to scout in the Padres that. organization. So he <coughs> took advantage of that opportunity. And uh, I was lucky enough um, to have the support of the university as for the first year 2000 to 2001 to be an interim coach mm -hmm. uh, when he left that, that following fall. And we broke a school record in wins um, because of the great team that Tripp had put together. And uh, we just tried to just keep it going. It was almost like I just didn't want to mess anything up. There were so mm -hmm. many good players here and 
So we won a lot of games, and I brought in an assistant coach, and, and, we, and we had three really good years, those well, first three years. Now, fast forward, you've been the head coach now for 17 years. You're in your 17th season yeah, this year. Yeah, in the 17th, 17th season. Um, Outside of the obvious, okay, when you ask a question, well, what do you attribute your longevity to? Outside of the obvious, that obviously you have the support of DSU Athletics, who that's right. have wanted you to stay around here. But outside of that obvious, what do you attribute your, your longevity to? I think a couple things. One, we've, been, we've, we've remained pretty competitive in our conference. Mm -hmm. Um, we've won six division divisional titles. We've You're been, in the MEAC. We're in the MEAC, uh -huh. in the MEAC. And uh, we won the North six times. We've been in two championship games. Uh, we came up short, which, you know, I take full responsibility for that, uh -huh. too. We, we would love to have brought home a, a championship cup for uh, Delaware State University. Um, but uh, we, we've stayed competitive. Our student athletes are graduating. They're doing well in the classroom. Um, and I feel like also, uh, for me personally, um, it's been a great fit because career-wise, I've been able to do something that I love so much. And uh, when I came to Delaware State, I met a, a Sherry Blandon, who's now um, my former wife, but met her, we had kids, my kids are growing up here in Dover, um, going to Cesar Rodney High School. Uh, well, one will be going to Cesar Rodney High School next year, the other is at Post Away Middle School. And it's just worked out. Mm -hmm. um, and I've really enjoyed, I, I also understand the big picture. At a smaller school sometimes, the, I feel like the bigger picture, everybody, you need to win in athletics and I totally understand that. I take full responsibility for every season that we have. It's also my responsibility to make sure that my student athletes are graduating. I take full responsibility for that. But we're also, um, just like Delaware State is doing, we're, we're forming young men. We're getting them ready for real life. Yeah. We're teaching them what, it's, what you have to do to deal with, the best way to deal with adversity. Because you deal with it on a daily basis. It's not as, it's not as intense as a, as a student athlete, but they're dealing with it and when you're playing a sport, you, you'll deal with it often sometimes, yeah. you know. Now, this year you celebrated your 400th win. I think to date yeah. you have 407 wins right now. The, yes, sir. Yeah. The, the greatest number of wins of any baseball coach in our history. How is our team doing this year? Talk about this year's team. Yeah, our team, um, we started off, uh, I feel, very, like, really competitive. We had a lot of warm weather and... Uh, Every game that we played in, even when we went out of conference in the MEAC and went down south, um, we were in every game because we pitched very well and played defense. Um, so to fast forward from game one that we actually won down at Charleston Southern to now, right now we're, we are 12 and 19 overall in, in overall play. We're sitting second place in the Northern yeah. Division of the MEAC. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, we, we still control our destiny. The top three teams in each division go to the tournament. And then once you get into the tournament, anyone has a chance to win it. And uh, so that's, that's our goal right now, is to make sure we get in that tournament and we're playing our best baseball at the end of the year. Our bats are starting to come around. Um, the pitching has been there all year. So um, I think we're ready to take that next step. Well, we're going to be rooting for the Hornet baseball team. And we are so proud of you, and we're so appreciative of the job that you've done here at Delaware State University for 17 years, more than 17 years, because you were assistant That's coach right. before that. Yep. But uh, you've really been preparing our, our student athletes well over there. And like you said, they've always been competitive. Thank you so That's much right. so Thanks for being on the show. Appreciate it. And thank, thank you. you for joining us for another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. Everybody have a good day.